High fire signs, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Ascendant, Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising, those cross watching. Welcome to your tarot love messages. Today we're going to see who is your next lover, okay? What will your next major relationship be like? We'll try and see if we can get as much detail around this person, around this connection. It is going to be a general reading, so please just keep uh, mindful of that. If you're after a personalized tarot reading with myself, please feel free to reach out and inquire. I will list my email address just below the video. Okay, guys, let's go ahead and see who's coming in towards you and what will your relationship be like with this individual. Off to a good start. They're quite confident, okay, from what I'm seeing. This person that is coming towards you um, is quite confident in his or her energy. Um, they're also quite confident that you are someone that they're wanting to or will be wanting to pursue. You are someone that they will be wanting to connect with on a much more deeper spiritual, emotional level. There's um, quite... Yeah, I'm seeing quite an energy of confidence about them, but it's a quiet type of confidence. It's not someone who is, um, it's not someone who's like arrogant or cocky in any way. There is, they're quite spiritual as well, either very religious or very spiritual. I'm seeing that there is a lot of success around this person and around your connection with this person. Things will progress quite successfully between the two of you. And I feel like the progression of this connection will feel like quite an adventure, let me tell you that. I'm also seeing that this person is not afraid to, they're not boastful, but they're not afraid to show off what they've, uh, sorry, they've achieved or accomplished in their life so far. Because they, they do have success around them. I do feel like this could be someone who's a successful businessman or woman. There is fame, public recognition or acclaim um, around this person as well. I'm also seeing that they've reached quite an important milestone in their life or they've uh, achieved some sort of significant goal that they've always wanted to achieve. Like, for example, start up their own business or, you know, put out something into the world here. A lot of public acknowledgement for their efforts. This person is going to really, I'm getting that this person is really going to help you shine, okay? This is someone who really wants to see you do your best, perform at your best. This is someone who's going to be very encouraging, a very positive, encouraging energy. Someone whom you're going to receive a lot of love and support from. This person is going to be your biggest cheerleader, but at times might be a bit of a critic only because they want to see you do good. They want to see you succeed. And with them, the both of you are really going to shine. Um, they're so, they're quite, I'm seeing that they hold up their, they hold up their head high, despite the, you know, what they've been through here. I feel like they have a lot of faith in themselves and what they've done. And I'm seeing that, I'm seeing that there is also going to be a lot of people who are vouching, who will be vouching for the two of you and who will be shipping this connection. Now, this is an individual who feels like sometimes they get in their heads a little bit too much, especially with the Four of Cups energy. This is someone who, you know, maybe is, they're not easily impressed or they're not easily satisfied. This is someone who I feel like can be a little bit hard on themselves. I'm seeing very spiritual energy. I feel like this person, you know, uh, takes on meditation practices, like is very contemplative. Um, maybe they're, you know, they're, they're going through a spiritual awakening. Um... They like to keep to themselves. I feel like this is an, an energy that likes to keep to themselves. So they don't always they don't always tell you what's going on with this with them and you know with this person. I'm also seeing that they're about to enter a new phase in their life, and maybe this is you know where you come in. Um, you're part of this new phase in their life. Um, there's a lot of opportunities around this person, but I feel like they've they know when to say no.
and I feel like this person maybe recently they may have like sort of switched off from distractions from the external world like social media Instagram and now they're really or like even the news or even just stop engaging in gossip I feel like this person has really turned inwards and is trying to you know really focus on themselves and better themselves a lot of travel is coming up around this individual so maybe the two of you are going to be doing a lot of traveling together maybe you will meet this person especially if you have plans um, you know to travel in the future you're going to meet this person outside of your safety and comfort zone um, you could meet this person overseas whilst you're living abroad or whilst you're traveling or doing some holidaying um, perhaps this person could meet you whilst they're on their travel or they're um, you know living abroad here but it feels like you're going to meet them outside of your comfort zone and this is someone who's going to want to pursue you this is someone who's going to want to you know romantically pursue you and they're confident that they'll be able to achieve that um, a lot of attraction here but there's also they'll be able to feel room for this to be so much more this person may travel a lot for work or i'm getting they may work they may have businesses all over the world or they may have like headquarters in a different part of the world quite quite adventurous can be very uh, unpredictable at times as well they do have a bit of i'm picking up like mental disorder so maybe like anxiety depression um just feels like they're quite moody as well a little bit moody uh quite emotional but I think they're aware of that they don't often feel understood by others okay they don't all often feel understood but with you they'll feel different because they'll feel like you get them they'll feel understood for the first time in a very long time I'm also seeing that it's going to be a bit of a complicated romance I don't know why well, I could think of a few reasons. It could be because the two of you are going to be, you know, you're going to be do, doing long distance because you're going to be living in two very different countries. It could be because there might be someone else involved when the two of you meet. So you might be attached or seeing someone else or this person might be in a relationship or seeing, you know, someone else. But complicated romance is coming up very strongly. And also with the presence of the moon in this reading, it's likely that the emotions are also going to be quite complicated at that time. Um, not everything is as it appears with the presence of the moon, right? And look, maybe this person, you know, or maybe you, someone he hasn't had a lot of luck in love, and maybe their faith needs to be restored. Or maybe this is someone who feels as though their relationship, their relationships and the past mistakes is still haunting them in a way. You have to be patient. You'll have to be patient about temperance. Uh, sorry, about this connection with the temperance energy because something about this does feel, you know, there's an alchemy, there's a balance, there's a harmony with temperance. So everything, everything in balance, everything in moderation, just be patient. Be patient, um, be in flow and be in in touch with the flow and the alchemy of uh, the universe here because this person is coming towards you if, you if he or she hasn't entered your life yet but patience I think temperance sorry um, is inviting you to be patient little things don't necessarily get to them although they're quite maybe anxious and analytical little things don't get to them I do feel like this person is can be quite patient um, it takes a while for them to get upset. They all they also leave a very balanced and a very moderate approach. I'm also seeing that they have a lot of talents, experiences, abilities, or skills. Uh, they mix a bit of this and a bit of that, and they do. They mix their talents, experiences, and skills for a living. I'm not sure what that means. An artist is coming to mind, right? could be they may they may also have been bartending in their past life as well a chef you know someone who mixes different cuisines um, a bartender someone you know who mixes drinks for a living and then of course an artist um, yeah that's interesting um, they're not in the process of rushing things so be patient with them and it makes sense especially if you meet this person whilst you're attached to someone else 
or if you meet this person and they're attached to someone else, just be patient because circumstances, let me tell you, are going to be a little bit complicated. They're not going to be what they appear. But so as long as you be patient here, everything will work out in the end exactly as it should be. This person is on a journey. I feel like this is someone who's very centered, very balanced, and someone who, you know, does partake in meditative, in sorry, meditation and uh, like relaxation techniques. They're quite, they're very quiet, reserved kind of uh, energy. Very confident, but it's a quiet confidence as we spoke about. I think they're embarking on a spiritual path. I feel like this person wants, you know, they want more from a relationship. They want emotional fulfillment. They want spiritual fulfillment here. And I'm also hearing that their inner voice here will guide you to them. Their inner voice will guide you, them to you. That's right. That's better. Um, great listener as well. A very good listener. Someone who... A photograph, someone who has a photographic memory and someone who's going to remember even the tiniest details that you share with them. Okay, guys, and these are your messages. Thanks so much for watching and listening. Please share your support by liking, sharing, subscribing to the channel. If you're after personal reading, feel free to inquire. Bye.